Which salts will be more soluble in acidic solution than in pure water? Okay. These salts are Ag2CO3. So let me just actually write that down. Which salts more soluble in acidic solution? Okay. And then pure water. Okay. So now with that being said, I'm actually going to write down each one, but I'm going to write down their formula of how they would break down because it actually helps you understand the question a bit easier. So Ag2CO3, Ag2Ag uh, plus, plus CO3, 3, 2, minus, okay? And now same thing. AgClO4, okay? All right. And that would be um, let's see. Uh, where is it? I'm really blanking out. Yep, there we go. Ag plus plus ClO4 minus PBI2. Okay, got PB plus, oops, PB2 plus, plus 2I minus. Okay, now for the last one, CDOH2. Okay, we'll turn into CD2 plus plus 2O. H minus okay so that's each one right and it says which of these would the solve would more solve an acidic solution actually okay so acidic solution is something that has let me put it this way lots of H3O plus floating around okay so with that being said actually we can actually look at these equations and kind of figure out what would happen here. So, if we had, um, I guess, if we think about this um, when we work through this question, right? You notice that each thing kind of breaks into a, what you consider like a base. Okay. All of these can be considered like have a basic-ish component to them. Now, for this actually, we kind of have to refer back to our um, S acids and bases. Okay. So, with that being said, actually, we're actually going to now, in a sense, kind of look at it backwards. Uh, the higher it is on the table, the harder time you would actually have a um, you have a harder time interacting with acids. It doesn't really want to mess with acid anymore. It's already done. It's, yeah. So let's actually look at this table real quick. So we're actually gonna look at the A minus, okay? Remember the conjugate bases. That's really what these are, okay? So CO3, two minus, where does that go, okay? Carbonic, okay, right here. CO3, two minus, that's that's pretty high, okay? Right now we can just say that it's a value, okay? And now ClO4, okay? Let's see where that is for this conjugate base. ClO4 minus. Hmm, there's so much on this list to be able to really, there we go. Cl, oh, that's ClO2. Hmm. Cl, oh no, wrong part. Wrong part. I'm gonna do it here. ClO4 minus. There we go. It's all the way up here. So with that being said, actually, because perchloric acid is so much higher up there, right now this is gonna be more soluble, and this is gonna be less soluble than that. Okay. Let's look at the iodine. So hydrogen iodide. Oh wow, it's even higher up in this this hydroiodic acid. 
so it's gonna be like number three right now okay but oh it's all the way at the bottom okay and so that'll be our new one because remember the highest is the one close to the bottom so that makes this two this makes this three and makes this four okay this is going to be the most I mean not most this OH is one that interacts the most with the uh, acid because this right here of all these four things is the strongest base how do we figure that out is because it's inverse okay the weaker it is as an acid which is what what's happening here as you go lower down the table it's a weaker acid the weaker it is as an acid the stronger it is as a base now why does this matter that this part is uh, you know a stronger or weak base because we actually use a uh, Lachat's layers principle okay and what that is is that when you use up exactly if there's a change in amount temperature or pressure there's going to be a change in the equation to directionality of which side it favors so in this case right think of it this way of all four formulas this OH is being depleted and used most to interact with the H3O and because you're now losing product in fact if we could to organize this right it'd be four be the shortest one three will be a little bit longer two will be a little bit longer and won't be like very significantly okay so exactly because now we're losing a lot of product each one will do it accordingly the equation for the uh, PBI2 which shifts slightly over this one will shift a little bit more this one will shift more than that but this would shift a lot because the OH is being depleted quite a bit because it keeps interacting with the acid in the um, solution so all this roundabout way is saying that CDOH2 will be the most soluble because exactly more of its product is being used up making the equation go towards the products mean that now you have less reactants making this more soluble because everything here should start as solids so because you're now consuming more solids you're making it more soluble so exactly they mentioned that carbonate um, ion makes HCO3 which is eh uh, AG uh, ClO4 perchloric acid iodide hydrogen iodide um, yeah and then the last one cadmium uh, hydroxide exactly thus this salt that's what they meant to say will be the most soluble in acidic solution so this is correct and exactly the way I personally solved it, although they're kind of using the, um, they're basing it off of the acid, you can definitely do that as well. Um, in this case, exactly as they showed, right? The weaker the acid, the better it will dissolve in an acidic solution. That makes sense because water is the weakest acid actually on this list, okay? And uh, hydroiodic acid. Is the strongest acid because they they found each of their strong each of their conjugate bases. That's what they did there. So it's like they had HI for this one, H2O, HClO4, which is also a strong acid. It's called perchloric acid, and they had HCO3 minus, which is the one we saw. Where is it? CO3 minus. I know I saw it earlier. There we go. HCO3 minus. Not this one, actually. It's going to be, there we go, carbonic here. And exactly, it's a pretty weak acid. So if this one was not here, okay, this would be our next one. It's just the one that's most soluble right after. But point being is that for this question, the answer is cadmium hydroxide, okay? All right, now let's go to question 19. Thank you.